E and D here. Now that Zendikar Rising, Kaldheim, Strixhaven and Adventures in the Forgotten Realms have rotated out, it's time for Ragdos, Liliana and Obnixlix. Let's play a couple of arena games with this new deck. Liliana and Obnixlix already in hand. Land, we are okay. Let's put a tap land. Tenacious Underdog, Meathood Massacre. It is a very good hand. So lands in play, let's put the underdog. Normal, not with the blitz. Still too early for the blitz. Let's see, my opponent probably is a mono black deck. Okay, with a Lilian of the Veil. It seems that Lilian of the Veil, it's played everywhere. Let's go to combat. I think I took a risk here. If there is a removal spell of, yes, Infernal Grasp, my underdog is gone. I could have played Obnixus with casualty and creating you two copies. With me. Sacrificing the enemy. underdog. Defy me, and you lose a bit of greed everything. there from my side. My opponent didn't discard the card. There's the Trespasser. Okay, so underdog is exiled. There's Liliana. Okay. First, let's see if my opponent will discard a card. My coin or card. I know. Let's put Liliana of the Veil in play. And let's make my opponent Nobody sacrifice knows a creature. Only one creature in play. Therefore, yeah. this person is gone. Has to leave. Let's put a Ford land in play. Liliana of the Veil and Obnixlis together. They are nearly unbeatable. Shoulder, okay, that's that's a scary creature, extremely scary. At this stage, I can. Let's see if my opponent first. <laughs> Your no, punishment no, no discarding. is my entertainment. I can. Let's force my opponent to discard the card. Then I'm going to discard you won't the be outsmarting me. Shoulder, the apocalypse needs to die. My strangle will not kill it because it will do only 3 damage. My opponent needs to discard the card at this stage. He discarded me to massacre. Let's put my second Liliana of the Vey. And let's oh, this use finished the ability much. and let's force my opponent to, the, to destroy another creature, to sacrifice another creature. Sacrifices and Shoulder is gone. Not bad, not bad. At this stage. I can give turn. Let's end the turn. Four cards in my opponent's hand. And he just conceded. I told you, Liliana of the Veil and Ob Nixlis together. In the early stage of the game, you are nearly unbeatable. A second game. Let's play a second game. The fairy hero of Dominaria. Liliana's there. Obnixis is also there. Unfortunately, I have only two swamps. I'm going to take a risk. My deck is quite equipped with land, so let's take a small risk. Let's put the land in play. Okay, I know that I risked this hand. Let's hope for a land. And there's a land, a pain land. At this stage, let's play the underdog. Next turn, I can play Obnixlis or the of the Veil, depending what my opponent will do. Depending what my opponent will do. This is a, is a deck. No, there is a swamp. Okay, at this stage, I can swing with the underdog. Or, let's play Obnixlis with the casualty. I didn't want to do the same mistake I did previously. Now I have two copies of Obnixlis. Impulse. Look at the top four cards of your library, put one of them to your hand and the rest in the bottom in any order. Okay. I thought it was a counter. I'm the new boss around here. Let's Join force my opponent to discard card. One is gone. And you lose everything. And my coin is gone. Okay, so my opponent didn't take any life. 
Let's put Liliana of the Veil. Now we have two Omnisys. No more distractions. And, uh, Liliana of the Veil. Are you going to discard the card? <laughs> Your punishment or take life. Is my take life. Okay. Another to life. Another to life. I discard the card. Carnage. No, let's force my opponent to so, sacrifice that goblin. Sacrifices and the goblin is gone. Made. Very good. Now he can discard two cards and draw that many cards. I discard that a mountain and a spell. Okay, so for the time being, big score, drawing cards, creating treasures. I'm sure he's trying to find a way to get rid of my three planeswalkers. Obnixlis with casualty is yes, extremely strong. Play with fire, targeting my Lilian of the Bay. Nothing more. Oh, unfortunately, he killed my Lilian of the Bay. I can. Let's see first. My opponent will discard the card. Go ahead. No, discard it. And for let's mercy. try again. No, discard Defy it. Me. Okay. And We're just you losing life like that. Everything. Let's put the underdog with the blitz. My opponent is at 9. I am at 17. And I can also draw a card. Mirror baby, the mirror breaker. Okay. Burn down the house. Creating. Those three. Oh, okay. oh, you're quite the nuisance. Now I can force a game opponent. <laughs> you want to discard the card? Is my entertainment. Come on. Yes, he discarded the card. And now, are you going to discard your last card Defy in hand? Defy me, and you lose everything. What are you going to do? He wants that card in hand. Okay, I can go with Meat Hood Massacre, killing all his creatures. Those devils, once they are dead, they will do one damage to any target. Probably they're going to target my Obnixlis. I don't think that my Obnixlis will die. No, he targeted me. Probably, and Meat Hood Massacre will give me back that death. Burn down, okay. Ah, that was a good this move. Is Burn down. Over. Killing all my planeswalkers. He's at 7, I'm at 19. I can go with the blitz. At this stage, I prefer to go with blitz. Delicious underdog will die. I will get a life. My opponent will lose a life. I'm sorry. My opponent will lose a life. Mistress Charm. Okay, I think the game is over at this stage. Okay, one card in hand. I can go again with Tenacious Underdog with the Blitz. Okay, the game is over. Two cards. You can do nothing. Okay, just... Uh, search land, sacrifice land. And he just conceded. The game was over. I would have swing with Tenacious Underdog. Dealing through damage. Sacrificing it. And meet with Massacre will deal the last damage and the game was over nice game there nice game there i told you when liliana and obnixis are on the battlefield it's nearly impossible to win a full sleeper okay my opponent probably here let's see my opponent probably it's a mono black i have that flame blast bolt Let's see, I'm going to... Yes, he's going to evolve. Okay, and now I can kill Exile in this case. The evolve sleeper. So, evolve sleeper is gone. There's a land. There's the underdog. It's a very good card. Underdog, it's a very good creature card. A 2 drop for 3-2. That can be casted with, with the blitz cost from the graveyard. Liliana of the Vey, uh, there's Liliana. Brunch. Okay, it's a Liliana ah, versus Liliana. One of your friends has to leave. Nowadays, everyone is playing Liliana of the Vey. Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Let's put a creature in play. Probably the Goblin will die. There's the Trespasser. Okay. He's going to target my underdog. 
Okay. And cut down on my goblin. So two cards, and he literally. I'm tired of your secrets. Options. There's invoke despair. Considering, let's see, invoke despair need four black. The stage I don't have that much land, so let's remove it. And I get a suckers, and let's put knight of dusk shadow. Okay, now my opponent cannot gain life. What I if my opponent doesn't infernal grasp, okay, can do nothing there. He's playing all, all his or their options. Let's Don't remove land. I'm removing painlands because for a red or black in this case, they will deal one damage to me. There's shoulder. Okay, now shoulder is scary. Liliana of the Veil can make me sacrifice a creature. I'm not going to sacrifice Sheldred. Field of Rune on my springs. I can't understand why. Honestly, at this stage I think he made me a favor. Removing that painland. Sheldred will start dealing two damage. That's a land. That's good for me. Sheldred will start dealing two damage whenever my opponent will draw a card. And I will gain life whenever I will gain a card. I will Drop it. draw a card. There's another Sheldred. Sheldred is legendary. I cannot target it with Reflection of Kikijiki. At this stage, I am going to try and kill Liliana. Liliana is dead. That was it's no my, fun when they hit back. That was my plan. At the stage. Let's see. My opponent took to life because he drew a card. Graveyard Gluten will remove two cards from a graveyard. I don't know if it's mine or his. Come on. Okay, he removed two cards, no creatures. I'm at twelve, he's at sixteen. Ceiling curtains. Okay. That was a good move. Another good move from my opponent. Revealing I will remove my shoulder. And now I have only lands in hand. I can I think that, that was the best option. Let's wait for his attack. He can swing with revealing eye. No, he didn't swing with revealing eye. Thing revealing I has menace. Yes, revealing I has menace. He could have swing with revealing guy. At this stage, I'm going only to sacrifice my tenacious underdog because playing the blitz cost me to life. But I will gain those to life back thanks to the ability of Shieldred. And now I have a Junji in hand. Which can come quite useful. Junji is the midnight sky. Graveyard Gluton swings. I cannot block revealing guys, so I have to block the Gluton. My opponent has one card in hand. I reckon a bank buster. Accent move from my opponent. With all due respect, accent move from my opponent. Recurring bank buster will make my opponent drop cards. More cards you draw, more life you will take, or you will waste. Okay, draw a card, and now you're at eight. Nice, Sheldred. What a beast. And I think now hey, my opponent realized the mistake, or really, it's not really a mistake. That was the only card in hand, so he just played it. Sheldred, it's a beast on her own. That's a very good card. Sheldred, it's a very good card. It's only a 4 drop. It's a very, very good card. Okay, 3 lands. Unfortunately, 3 mountains. And there's a uh, springs. I should be quite good at this stage. There's another swamp. Okay. Let's put the underdog in play. 
a very needed card. This underdog, two drop in this deck, even in mono black, it's a must. My opponent, three swamps. At this stage, I can, I think my underdog is dead at this stage. What are you going to do? I could have cut down, okay, cut down. I could have used the casualty of Obnixis. Let's put another underdog in play. I have lands, four swamps, mono black. Do you have a Liliana? Do you have a Shouldred? What do you have in hand? What do you have in hand? Five cards in hand. Meat Hook Massacre 4 2. Okay. That, that was bad for me. There's the Knight of Dark Shadow. Let's put Obnixus in play. The families call me Let's their Let's make my opponent discard the card or take two damage. He just took two damage. Everything. Unfortunately, I couldn't use Obnixus with casualty. My opponent has four cards in hand. Now three because of Sorin. Since I have a Strangle. Right. You will serve me well. Let's Strangle Sorin or... Okay, let's strangle the token. Let's go with Blitz. Thorin is dead. Thorin is dead. That token would have started giving life to my opponent, and I don't want my opponent to gain life. I want my <laughs> opponent to lose life. Pleasure doing business with you. And Tanish's underdog did his job. Shieldred. Okay. Now I'm at a little bit of. And there's my Shieldred. It needs to resolve. Obviously, let's put a land in play. No, I have Shieldred. I have Meat Hook Massacre. <laughs> you want to discard? No, he just want my to. Entertainment. He just want to keep those cards in hand. And now I have Knight of Dusk Shadow, which means that my opponent will not gain life thanks to the Knight of Dusk Shadow and Meat Hoots Massacre. So Meat Hoots Massacre and Shelter the Apocalypse will not make my opponent to gain life thanks to the Knight of Dusk Shadow. Having a shoulder on my side of the battlefield means that I will gain life and my opponent will lose life whenever they will draw a card. Takenuma, Abundant Mire. Probably is going to retrieve Sorin. He's going to play Sorin. No, Sorin is a 4 drop. Has only 3 lands untapped. I told you, I told you, they will not gain life thanks to Knight of Dusk Shadow. Let's see. Do you want to discard a card? My coin he wants to keep those three cards in hand. Okay, I can imagine that he wants to keep Sorin. I don't know what the other two cards are. At this stage. I'm going to swing with the Knight of Dusk Shadow only because that creature has menace. And I can also pump it up. My opponent is at 7. I am at 13. Now he's at 5 also. Obnixless can force my opponent opening this can force any player to draw seven cards and lose seven life which means that if obnixless survives this turn the game is over yes the game is, is over obnixless i will make my opponent to draw seven cards and they will also lose seven life Currently they are at 5, no which means that the game is over. 
I need only to survive you this can with my servant. I'm busy. Tenacious underdog. Now he's untapped. The game is over. The game is literally over. He swings with Shieldred. I'm going to block with my, my Shieldred. Both have that type. Which means that both creatures will die. I will lose one life and they will not get any life. I just need, and that's what I'm going to do. Target player. Yes, I'm going to target my opponent. Draw my seven cards. Will be and you will also lose last. seven life. And that's how you win with Ragdos, Liliana of the Veil, and Obnixis the Adversary. That is how you win. Leave me a comment below. What do you think about this deck? Does this deck has any future? I hope nothing get banned. And as always, subscribe to my channel for more and more interesting videos about Magic the Gathering and the Collectible World.